we bought an abandoned storage unit owned by a criminal who hoarded thousands of dollars worth of stuff for 25 years. This video is part two of cleaning out this storage unit. You do not need to watch part one, but if you are interested, it's linked in the comments below. You are not gonna believe some of the stuff we found inside. Let's get into it. So we're here for day two of the $350 storage unit. We've gotten a lot of trash out of this thing so far, but we've also pulled out a lot of good stuff. Pretty much already made our money back on this unit and we've only gone through a quarter of it. Time to get to work. Got rid of a lot of the cardboard, right? And we haven't touched this side yet, really. What do you think? We're gonna get this out and then try to yank the boat out and then do the far side or or what? Uh, it's still gonna be hard to get the boat out. We gotta get the tires pumped up. Right. You guys haven't seen it yet, but on the other side of this boat, it is completely full, like halfway up the door. Just stacks of stuff. It's definitely trash, whatever that robot. is, but... Coop. What is it? It says robot coop. Yeah, it looks absolutely destroyed and covered in dirt and nastiness. Anybody know what that is? Robot coop. Need any clothes? I definitely don't need any clothes. Those look horrible. Yeah, there you go. That's military, whatever it is. It's like a bag, like a fanny pack or something. Yeah, it's a little bag. Oh, yeah, bag. That's cool, set that aside. Yeah, that looks like looks garbage. So cool garbage. Like, why would you save newspapers? This guy saved newspapers in boxes. That's what it looks like this is. Like, <laughs> what the heck? If you want to dig through the newspapers and look for the gold bars, be my guest. Although that would be a pretty smart hiding spot. Put the gold bars, not in the safe, with the piles of newspaper. <laughs> right? <laughs> Is that something that can't be shown yes. on camera? Okay. Is it sealed? <laughs> so yeah, we have these already. I think they probably would have been in part, I think I showed these in part one, but brand new in the box, but we found the paper to go over the thing. <laughs> Thunder laws. Oh. <laughs> Wonder why he has those CDs that have already been opened. Yeah. <laughs> White zombie. Marvin Gaye. Yeah, the, I mean, these are all sealed. Oh, here we go. This might be worth setting off to the side. What do we got here? Oh, wow. Are these records? The Flip Wilson Show. I don't know what these are. Just different um, original radio broadcast. Some kind of records. By the way, remember that Freddy Krueger like looking thing that I found last week? I don't Freddy Krueger. And we're like, is that a movie or is it? It's a movie. It's yeah. a, a laser disc. We're not going to sell it though. Because like, I gave it to my buddy Justin. <laughs> he has the original movie poster from that same from that same movie like already in his room. So I'm like, oh, it's kind of perfect. He's going to frame it and put it right next to him. He loves that kind of stuff. Reels. We're gonna make a massive pile. I think we talked about this in the last episode. There's tons of movie reels in here. We're gonna make a massive pile of that stuff and then figure out what to do with it, whether we sell it in bulk, whether we find somebody who can tell us what it is. I don't know yet. That's the plan with that. Eight tracks. Eight tracks? What the? Red Fox. Never heard of him. No? No. You never heard of Red Fox? No. He was a comedian. Boy, you young. <laughs> I got boomered. <laughs> These look like all sealed DVDs. If you're not subscribed, what the heck are you doing? That's the crazy thing about this unit is this person just bought so much brand new media, whether it was on eBay, like some of them are from eBay, some of them are from local stores, and then just never used it. Like these are all, these are all sealed CDs, all of them. What the heck? Why would you buy all this stuff and then just never use it? A couple right here. Oh, it's got like uh, 3D. 3D glasses with it. Yeah, put it with a... Uh, Whoa, Howard Stern looks young there. That's crazy. What was Howard Stern before he was like, did a radio show? Um, he just, he was so controversial, he couldn't even get a job for really? a radio. Somebody finally gave him a chance and he rated him. unbelievable. Oh yeah, his show is massive now. Yeah, it always, and it has been for decades. Is this like a projector? We've got another reel here. United States Unclassified. Air Photographic Chartering Service. This is unclassified Air Force footage. I wonder if this is even legal to own. <laughs> if it's unclassified, it is, yeah. Oh, American Westerns, Three Stooges. All hmm. these are sealed. The Beatles. Motorcycles. What the heck is that? Coins of some sort. Man in Space. 
Apollo. Oh wow! Yeah, they must have been some type of coin thing for the the, the moon landing. It's Apollo. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Win five thousand dollars missions to the moon. We got a whole thing of, of those coins in this bag too. Department of Corrections inmates rules and regulations. So that could explain why we own this unit right now. You always find the story of why you're buying the unit. You know, <laughs> usually you can figure it out. He leaves all the eBay receipts. So he bought this AAA school safety patrol crossing guard banner. He bought this in 2005 on eBay for $8.95. <laughs> what is it? It's a little banner. It's a triple A thing. Huh. Why would you buy that in 2005? We've been going through most of this stuff and I didn't show everything on camera because I didn't want to bore you guys, but like it's mostly all sealed DVDs. So much new sealed media, it's insane. What's in here? I you know what, it looks like a CD case. A CD case, yeah. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Charlie Chan movies. Charlie Chan. So, as you can see, it's more of the same. The time tunnel, never heard of that. Unaired TV pilot episode. This box set the camera down so I can open it. Dude. Clark's Fruit Punch. Look at this. It's like old candy wrappers, I guess. Pillsbury Moo Juice. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Weird. All right, into this box. And what do we got? A box full of magazines. Yeah, good stuff right there. This is the good stuff. Man, remember remember the old yellow pages? I remember those. What's this? Oh wow, look at this. Bunch of 3D glasses. Like a ton of them. This is from 2006. A lot of 100 old 1970s television 3D glasses. He bought them for $56.98 in 2006 on eBay. Why would you buy 100 3D glasses from the 1970s? I don't know, but because he did, now we have them. Let's see what's in this bad boy. There's a lot of mouse poop. Yeah, a lot of mouse crap. Oh man, I don't want this going all over me. I don't know what we Frank Sinatra, sealed box set. These are all box sets. James Brown, sealed box set. These can have value. I'm not gonna look up every single one right now, but Earth, Wind and Fire, The Eternal Dance. Yeet. Eric Clapton, Crossroads 2, live in the 70s box set. This guy had an addiction to buying box sets. All right, here's a box set. Billy Holiday, complete recordings. Judy Garland. Judy Garland, three discs, the one and only box set. All right, yeah, we're making progress. We get through this block of stuff. We get into this block of stuff. We get a box right here. Open up, looks like, I don't know, DVDs? No, VHS. And here we got some more reels, Sound of Thunder. There's like two layers of them there. That's crazy. Like, what? Red Dawn, oops. If you guys know anything of like what to do with this stuff, please let me know in the comments because we have so much of it and I don't know what to do with it. That stuff looked like film, pictures. All right, let's pull this box down. Looks like we got more box sets. Look at that, keys, CDs, Bon Jovi, Partridge Family, CDs, 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 CDs. Steely Dan box set. Barbara Streisand. This one isn't sealed though. CDs. 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 Oh, what's this one? Ooh, look at this. Led Zeppelin. That one's gotta be good probably. The complete studio recordings. That's probably money. That'd be a good one. It's brand new sealed by the way. Connie Francis. Oh, right there. Yep, never heard of her either. Also a sealed the box. The Doors. Complete studio recordings. So, it's probably some money just in these two right here, if I had to guess. I wonder if we can find some more CDs and DVDs. I think we can. We got a duffel bag right there. Let's uh, yank, yank that one out. Nice and clean, you want it? Uh, no, I don't. What kind of bag is it, Atlantic? Oh, <laughs> oh boy. That's a set there. Oh, Judas Priest. What is this? 
box of pearls. Oh, Janice Joplin collection? Yeah, that could be That's good. probably money. What's this? Fleetwood Mac. Oh. <laughs> Fleetwood Mac Complete Blue Horizons collection. 67 to 69. Brand new sealed. All right. Next box. Let's see what we got. Eight tracks, maybe? Or CDs. <laughs> we got a couple eight tracks. Belly Dancer favorites. Oh, you'll like that one. Oh, yeah. That'd be a good one. Uh, <laughs> now we're getting into the cassette tapes, guys. 1990. I didn't know they made them in 19. Yeah. What do we got here? CDs. What the, what the heck? Man from Uncle Girl. I, I, I don't know what that is. It's probably trash. Marvin Gaye Deluxe Edition. Let's get it on. This is crazy. All right, so we've been going through this box. It's more just the same, um, just a bunch of CDs and DVDs, VHS, all sealed, of course. But check this out. Sealed uh, blank audio cassette tapes. Each one of these is worth about $25. There's 25. 50. 75. Wow. Easy money. I don't know if there's any more. I don't think there is any more in there, but yeah, those are easy. I've sold a ton of blank media on eBay in the past. Usually sells pretty quick, especially sealed like that. So this is how we look up stuff on eBay, guys. So I have filters turned on to brand new sealed because pr pretty much everything is. And we just scanned the barcode and nothing came up on eBay. So probably garbage. <laughs> oh man, look at this. Tons of sealed blank cassette tapes. Easy easy money i don't know if there's still a huge market for this stuff because i haven't sold it for a while on ebay i'm assuming this still is but i mean this stuff used to be like gold all blank media that people can use keep an eye out for that kind of stuff guys seems like junk but it's not check this out it's like a little chipper jones bobblehead oh it's a kfc toy oh is it yeah it's from kfc check this out it's not really worth much money but Kind of a cool lenticular VHS cover. It is Independence Day. Is the movie pretty neat? We haven't gone through that I bag. I think so. No. All right. Yeah. Well, it's still tied up, so that would probably make sense. Oh, man, so heavy. They're all sealed DVDs. Every yeah. single one. Get my blade. You want to brush off that um, poop? Yeah, stand right here. <laughs> Cracker open. What do we got? Looks like something different. Whoa! Yeah, check that out, dude. Cobra radar, a brand new. Radar detector. Oh, wow. It was uh, $119 wow. when he bought it. We'll take that. Yeah. We'll have to look it up, yeah. Oh, we got metal tins. All right, this is more fun. Now it's something a little different to go through here. Probably full of plugs. There it goes. Oh, reels. <laughs> All right, well, set those in the real, real pile. I think this will be good for you. You could probably use those. Thunderwear. <laughs> Thunderwear. Blows. It, look, it's got a blow zone. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, did you fart? I think there's a dead Bro, mouse. Bro, dude. Oh, yeah, you do need them. It's a dead mouse. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> You're nasty. This one says hidden camera. Does it really? Yeah. Oh, please leave positive feedback <laughs> if satisfied. That's crazy. Huh. That's so creepy. Hidden camera. Probably ought to throw that away. Probably ought to throw that away. America's wackiest criminals. Most of this stuff I can't show on camera, guys. Sorry. This is some sort of projector. Alpex slide projector. Don't know much about it, but that's what it is anyways. Ow! Ugh. Courtroom chaos. You found a lot of these in the unit as well these like little pictures and they're pretty cool i think there's probably uh probably a market for this kind of thing people buy them you guys probably can't really see it but 
need a clipboard? Because we got one. Yeah. Can't show that on camera. It says Department of Public Health on it. I don't know what that is down the bottom, man. Yeah. It's down the bottom. This is junk, whatever it is. Nothing in it. Uh, we got more like picture slides. Plants and flowers from 1973. Two big, huge reels. They're like all rusty. Maps. $150 retail value back in the day for these maps. Straight out of the 1990s. Tally Ho. It must be an old game. By Whitman. An exciting game for the whole family. Is there a date on it? 1961. Oh. All right, moving along. I'm gonna open that one. Whole lot of nothing. Okay. Well, guess what? Got some more CDs for oh, you. <laughs> Just so you guys can see how many we have. Like, look at this insanity. CDs, 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 CDs. DVDs, DVDs, VHS. See, oh yeah, that whole box is completely full of CDs. Brand new sealed. All right, a box set of Bing Crosby. Bing Crosby, that could be, I'll have to look that one up. What do we got in here? I'm willing to bet that is CDs. Yeah, probably. Hey, oh, good that. job, yeah, CDs. <laughs> um, CDs, CDs. Bessie Smith, the complete recordings. Set that over to the side, look that one up. Yeah. Who's this? Judy? Judy Garland. Mingus, the complete Columbia recordings from 1959. Probably worth looking up. Hard Rock Cafe. And more CDs. So that whole box was, you guessed it, CDs. Oh, hey, uh, there's some poop on there. Yeah, I smelled it earlier. <laughs> oh man, what the heck, dude. Oh, it's a different looking box. Oh, cassettes. <laughs> See, these are open, so Jeez. probably no good. Yeah, I other? mean, back in the I even had that one years ago. <laughs> <laughs> There's a wallet. Is there any money in it? There's money in it. Doesn't look like it. Ah, uh, you know who that is? Uh, let's see. Red. Skelton? He was a comedian. Nope, don't know him. Real famous, never swore. Really? Yep. Okay. He's funny. But these are uh, sealed VHS tapes from 1997. Open that. I don't know what it is. Unopened. It's unopened, whatever it is. Kellogg's. What? Kellogg's. <laughs> Get fit with <laughs> What? It must have been like something you get in, right out of a cereal line. box or something. Pull my finger. Original fart CD. Pull my finger. <laughs> no. All right, so we're digging through one of the last few boxes here. And I wasn't filming at the time because I didn't want to bore you guys because it's all mostly open, unopened CDs. But we found this one right here. Music Bank Alice in Chains box set. This is what it's selling for. Take a guess. 150. Pretty close, yeah. Some have sold for 150, one sold for 217, one sold for 195, a couple sold for 150. And uh, let's see what they're, if there's any listed, because that's insane numbers. So, okay, basically, name your price because there's none listed that are brand new right now. Wow. That's the most expensive one we found so far. All right, so another honorable mention find. I just found this, the complete Ella Fitzgerald songbooks. Brand new sealed. No idea what the heck that is. But there's none sold on eBay currently in brand new condition that I saw, at least just from looking quick. But people have this listed for an insane amount of money. Like this one's open for 185 Brand new sealed. $419, brand new sealed $325. That one's pre-owned for $150. And then this one's brand new, but it's, the seal is broken for, looks like $225. This could be another really big score. We also found this Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers playback box set. This one's worth about $120. This is fun. All right, so we're on our last box for this side of the unit. This is the first one I pulled out, Frank Sinatra box set, the complete 
reprise studio recordings. Looked it up on eBay. Probably 100, 125 bucks just for that. We got this. Bo Diddley. Have to look that one up. We have successfully finished the right side of the storage unit now. Everything is out here and sorted. The middle here is all basically just junk cardboard that we need to dispose of. This side is basically all sealed DVDs and some VHS tapes. And then we have literally, I don't know, a thousand, maybe more. We're just kind of estimating sealed CDs. They can be hit or miss. Some can be worth good money and some can be worth five bucks, you know, and we haven't obviously looked up every single CD because we would be here for days. And then we set aside over here in this little pile, all the stuff that is definitely going to get listed on eBay for us. I don't know exactly how much money's here, but there's at least a grand, maybe more worth of stuff. Really good, easy sellers. And we still have the far side that we're gonna need to open up the back door to even get to. Once we do that, then we can yank this boat out of here and look into that. I mean, see if the boat's even worth doing anything with, if it runs, if it needs repairs, not sure yet. Two tires on the trailer are currently flat, so we'll have to figure that out. Hopefully they will hold air, assuming this has been sitting in here for at least 20 years, maybe longer. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. One of the craziest units we've ever bought, that's for sure. Alrighty, here's a little preview of the back of the boat. This is what's inside the boat. And that is what's behind the boat, all of which we have not touched yet. That's insane. There is so much stuff in here. Wow. So yeah, we're like half, we're like halfway through. Yeah. All of this, we're only halfway. This is like decades, decades of just collecting and hoarding, really. <laughs> wow. 